So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up um, your Twitter archive to be hosted by uh, on GitHub pages for free, so anyone can look back over your tweets over the years, uh, and also at the same time keep it fresh. So as you post new things on Twitter, your your archive, which um, unless you go and request it each day from Twitter, is going to get pretty stale quite quickly. So from this blog post. Um, we've got uh, a little script. So this is uh, um, a script that is powered using Google Apps Script. So we just need to give some permissions first. So this is all tied into your um, Google account. So um, it's basically going to, it's limited in terms of what it wants to do. It just wants to connect to external services and basically run things and store data. So it needs to um, store, you know, which we're your GitHub repository is and so on. Uh, so we click allow and then we get uh, this interface here which will step you through the process. So the first step that we need to do is um, sign in with Twitter. So we need to sign in with Twitter so that we can authorize the script to go and collect new tweets from your account and uh, write them to GitHub. So we just click to authorize that and we should get back to the application, you can see that's now successfully done. And so the next step is we need to um, set up a GitHub repository. Um, if you're not familiar with setting up GitHub pages for repository, there's um, lots of really useful pages on GitHub about how to do this. Um, but uh, before you do that, you will need to request your archive from Twitter. So I'm in my Twitter account here, signed in. And on the settings, if you scroll down, there's a, a button to request your archive. So you click that and Twitter will email you a download file um, to get your archive. Once you've done that, we need to um, upload this to um, GitHub. So the easiest way to do this is actually use one of the desktop clients. Um, so what I'm going to do is jump over here and I'm just going to create a new repository and I'm just going to give it a name and we can just ignore the other settings for now. So once we've done that it gives us a button so we can actually launch uh, the desktop client which I've already installed. So it's just asking you where you want to locally store your file. So this is another nice thing is that you can actually um, keep a local copy of your files as well. So in this folder I've already extracted all the files that we need. So this is basically um, all the files that um, from our export. So I'm just going to copy those and in here we can see it's given us a new folder. So we can just copy those straight in. So when we go back to um, the GitHub client, we can see there's uh, lots of new files. So the process when you get new files is you have to commit them and then push them um, to the repository. So I'm just going to give that a little note so I know what it is I'm committing. And then, so this is basically preparing all the files um, to be published. So it just needs to tell, go off to GitHub and basically warn it it's about to get 117 files. So there we go. So if we can click on this button. So you haven't got the files in the air yet, so the last thing we need to do is hit publish. So that's actually going to push all the files up to GitHub. So you might find that takes a couple of minutes to do, but now when we go back here, we should see that we've now got a, our repository and it's actually got lots of different files um, added to it. So the last thing we need to do is actually let GitHub know that, that the, 
these files are actually a website. Um, so within the settings, um, there is an option there to turn it into GitHub Pages. So if I click on Save, and that's all we need to do with that for now. So if I jump back to the application, um, uh, similar to Twitter, we need to, to sign in to GitHub to basically give permission um, so uh, to, to look at repositories and actually update the files. So I'm going to authorize that. So you can see we've successfully connected to Qu uh, GitHub. And so we're on to step number three. So this is where we um, select a repository we want to use. So it's this one here. Uh, and if I just click on save. And then the final step is to um, basically tell the script how often we want this to be updated. So I recommend just doing it daily, but you can do it more often if you want. And um, this is the hour that it'll approximately update these. So this these times are in GMT. So I'm going to do it at one o'clock in the morning. Let me just save that. And that's it. Everything's set up. So if you want, you can uh, manually update it now. So what that will do is just go off and see if there's anything new and dump it into uh, GitHub. Uh, but other than that, you um, never need to come back to this page. It will just keep each day if we go into the code. We might even see, so 14 seconds ago, it added 127 tweets. So you can keep an eye on the commits each stage just to see when and how many tweets it gets added. I suppose the last bit to just check is that it's actually published. So let's just go on to this and just and just check check the link. So here's the link. So this is it published on GitHub. You can see the tweets and you can see uh, the last tweet was an hour ago. So that's one of the 127 uh, it caught. So there you go. Uh, GitHub's quite nice. You can customize the URL if you want. There's lots of information on that on GitHub pages. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy.